Well, more witnesses took the stand today at the continued jury trial of former GPD officer Paul Santos. The prosecution is done with their case in chief and are hoping Judge Vern Perez will approve their request to take the jury to the scene of the crime. PNC's Donna De Jesus has more on this story. This morning marked day four of Paul John Santos's trial. Santos is the ex-cop who allegedly raped a prostitute at the former Hotel Ipau in 2014 after responding to her Craigslist ad. The prosecution got through the remainder of their witnesses to end their case in chief. One of those witnesses was a certified expert in forensics and DNA investigations, Jeremy Fletcher, a biologist with the FBI who conducted the DNA testing for Santos's case. The main piece of evidence collected from the crime scene and relinquished to the FBI for testing was a used condom. Fletcher testified that both the outside and the inside of the condom were swabbed for DNA analysis. After buckle swabs were taken from both Santos and the victim as reference samples, Fletcher said the results of the analysis showed that the DNA present on the outside of the condom was a mix of three individuals, but the source of the majority of that DNA matched the victim. The inside swab of the condom showed a single source. The DNA profile was developed. In this case, a single source male profile was developed, and Mr. Santos is the source of that DNA profile. Also taking the stand today were the employees of the Hotel Ipau, who recall the two nights when Santos came to the hotel in his police cruiser looking for the victim. The first night was when the victim was allegedly raped by Santos. He was told by the witness that it was against company policy to let anyone in after midnight. The hotel employee testified that because he was a police officer, she allowed him in but told him he could only stay for five minutes. But the employee says Santos was in the room for about an hour and she even went to check if everything was okay. From the staff door near the room, the witness said she could only hear the sounds of the TV. Santos is said to have stopped by the hotel at least two more times the next night again in his police cruiser and in full uniform, wanting to see the victim. The witness told the court that she told Santos that the victim was not in her room. I told him that the lady wasn't there. Did you know if she was there or not? No. So why'd you tell him, hey, the lady's not there? Because the first time I uh, gave him only five minutes to go there, but it's more than five minutes. But I think if I let him in, it's gonna like take up another more than five minutes. Assistant Attorney General Matt Heibel requested to have the jury do a site visit tomorrow for a silent walkthrough of the crime scene. Although defense attorney Randy Cunliffe objected, saying the layout of the hotel is irrelevant, Judge Vern Perez said it could be helpful to the jury to see the uniquely designed building firsthand instead of through pictures and surveillance videos. He is set to issue a decision on the matter by tomorrow morning's continued trial. Reporting for PNC, I'm Donna De Jesus.